But the more upbeat ones, and actually the song that we think is going to be the first single, he went crazy with excitement. It's Joey Kendall Brown and welcome to my seventh baby diary. This week I'm 27 weeks and the baby weighs 2.2 pounds and is about the size of a bunch of bananas. This morning we rifled through all of our cupboards to find things that weigh the same as what the baby weighs now and what I'm about to give birth to. At the moment I'm holding a bag of sugar which is the size of the baby now. Very cute. As we go on you'll see the baby's getting bigger. Apparently He's probably gonna be about eight pounds, eight and a half pounds by the time I finally give birth. That's probably about four of these. This is roughly eight pounds, so this is what I'm about to give birth to. Yikes! So he's at the age now where he's starting to hit, so we found it really exciting to go through Andy's new album that he's in the middle of writing and play some of the songs to see if we get a reaction out of him. But the more upbeat ones, and actually the song that we think is going to be the first single, he went crazy with excitement. Cause I'm no good at being lonely, lonely. I'm no good at being wrong. It's really pleasing. I think he's kind of getting excited with us. I'm not sure whether it's my endorphins when listening to the song or whether he can actually hear, but he was definitely wriggling around and getting excited with it. Also, I want to say thank you so much to everyone who's sent name suggestions. We've actually kind of settled on a few now, so it's just kind of waiting to see whether when he comes out, whether he looks like one or the other, or maybe a couple of them put together. So I had my 25 week checkup a couple of weeks ago. Everything's fine and it was really great to see that everything's on track. The only thing I got told was that I'm not eating enough carbs, which seems unreal for me because all I seem to eat is chips. As you may have noticed, I didn't do a baby diary last week and that was because I suddenly got really sick with a virus. The baby actually got a little bit quiet at the same time, which worries me a bit. So I spoke to my doctor and she suggested that I ring our local midwife unit and they wanted me to go in for a scan and just to make sure everything was okay. So I then went in for an emergency scan. The sonographer was really, really great. She went through everything with me, just checking the baby was fine, which thankfully he was. When I was taking the photographs that we'd got from the end of the scan, she just reminded me to make sure that I didn't show them off as we were leaving the room because as it was an emergency scan, a lot of people that were leaving there weren't always getting good news. This is something that actually I've experienced myself because last year Andy and I had a miscarriage. Obviously it's a subject that a lot of people don't really want to talk about, myself included, and I really struggled when it actually happened. I was having some symptoms that made me kind of question whether everything was running smoothly. My midwife at the time booked me in for an early scan. So we went along thinking that I was about 11 weeks and what the sonographer had said is actually that the baby had stopped developing and I was likely to have a miscarriage. Miscarriages are actually really really common and I know that from my experience and from other friends that I've had go through the same thing, they're actually a lot more common than we all think. We just don't talk about it. And obviously I completely empathise with anyone who has been through the experience. I'm really sorry to end on a bit of a downer. Just wanted to share my experience with you and I didn't want you to think that everything you see on Instagram is all wonderful um, because we've all had our own journey to getting to where we are today. Thanks so much and see you guys next week. Take one probably gonna be oh god <laughs> <laughs>